Happy New Year Aquarius. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Welcome to 2019. Oops. Ooh, let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming for you. Wow, it looks like you're going to be busy this year. A lot of work that you've put in is going to come into fruition for you, looks like. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Let's try that again. Let's take a shuffle and see what's coming up for you this month. Please remember this is a general reading, and if you'd like one just about you, feel free to stop by my website and get yourself an appointment, and we'll get to it as quickly as we can. That's at www.soulstarbliss.com, and, and I have posted it below for you also, and my instant go friends. Please remember that you can uh, contact me on instant go, and if you have just one question, it works really well. Again, that is down below also, and thank you to all of you who have used that service this year. And bless you all for all the readings that you've done with me this year, too. I so appreciate every single one of you. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it says here, Aquarius, what you've been waiting for, if it's to, to do with finances, um, this is going to be a good year for you. Either you made a plan last year, or you started something where you're putting money away, or maybe you started a new job where you're, it's going to be an increase in finances. It says what you waited for, what you asked for is right before you, if it's not already in your hand. It says you have a lot of spirit help around you, angels that are walking with you. Maybe they're spirit guides. Ask them for help. Ask for direction. It says that feeling of being alone, even when you're with people, it says you're working on that. Some of you have either figured out what that means to you because it means something to everybody, I guess, different, but kind of the same. So it says have confidence in the choices that you make because you're um, certainly being helped or led in a way. It says it doesn't matter what other people say. It matters what you say. When you're meditating or thinking or planning, whatever it is, take an extra minute because it says there's more information on the way coming. Whether that be an idea, a meditation, or maybe you're going to read it in a magazine or a book, I don't know, but it says before making a major decision to do with abundance, finances, job, whatever, take just another minute to make sure you have all of the information. I have the sun card here for you, which means sweet happiness, joy like a child. Also, those of you that had a lot of turmoil last year, it looks like there's going to be some um, uh, joy because of, I don't want to say conquering, but it's like you're going to win something or things are going to turn your way. There's going to be a change in the tide, something like that, where it's, you're going to feel like it's your turn. And I think maybe it is your turn. So spirit is definitely walking with you. Put your fears to rest best you can because remember, whatever we focus on, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, that's what we get more of because what we think about we bring to us or we become. It says, magician here says, ask for what you want. Emperor reminds me to tell you not to give your power away. And when, you know, it's easy, you know, I'm going to call my power back. I'm calling my power back. You can do that anytime, any place. Please teach that to your children because it's a real uh, empowering thing to do. Here it says, what you've asked for, again, keep asking or get ask and then get out of the way is a better way to put that. But it says you're entitled like everybody else. It not, you know, all these wants, wishes aren't just for others, they're for you too. Ace of Wands says there's a brand new beginning here, whether it be relationship, job, love, whatever it might be. So if things weren't so good, let's, let's talk about relationship first. There could be an improvement work you've put into it. Maybe things at work aren't quite as, you know, you like them to be, but whatever work you've put in, you're going to see benefits from. If you're thinking about starting a business or an opportunity, this might be the time to really start... You know, we all seem to have wants, wishes, and daydreams, but when we, you know, get started on them or get them going, they become real. So it says the choices you make regarding things you asked for, are you going to see some um, movement there? And then go with the movement. Keep going. It says victory is going to be yours. Um, also, I feel with the um, Wheel of Fortune, things are going to start rolling better for you. You're going to be in the right place, right time. You're going to meet the right person. Maybe you, you know, find the $100 bill. I don't know exactly what it is, but it just says you're going, to, you're going to be in the right place at the right time for what you need. And it says in the love area, it says you're going to get what you put in, okay? And just make sure you're not putting in more than you're getting. So it says open to receive in that area. That's not for everybody, but those of you, if you're having a relationship difficulty or things aren't quite so perfect, sit down, work out a plan, talk about it. And it says, you know, if, if, if both parties want to give it everything they've got or at least um, pay attention and step up and do the right thing, there's going to be big improvements there. 
I have the um, Ace of Cups, which to me means when your mind is filled with spirit, fills your body to overflowing, what you think about, you become. It's almost like you get this. It's like, oh my God, yeah, that's so simple. If I think about lack of, I get more lack of. If I think about money, not having enough, I don't get in. If I think about prosperity in general, then it seems to be different. I hope that's clicking with the way I can see it in my mind to bring that picture to you. It says, don't focus on the tower, the upset, the upheaval. That's, it's, you're going to get more of it. What you wish for and what you think about is right before you. You have the Nine of Cups, so you definitely do have a wish coming. It says, your intuition is going to help guide you along. Don't fight intuition. It says, you know, just, all you have to do is figure out, is that my intuition or is that my ego? And you do that with practice. You know, practice who's calling or, you know, what car is coming down the on-ramp on the freeway. Whatever it might be, when you work that like a muscle, it gets stronger. And it says, believe in what you know. So some of you are going to be hearing from the past, someone from the past. So probably not for everybody, but I feel it's a woman with light hair. If there was a, an issue from the past where you split up because things weren't so good, if she shows up again, um, treat her like a new friend. I'm not saying that, you know, things would repeat themselves, although they could. So it says, anyone, from, for those of you that have someone from the past, light-haired woman, blonde, reddish blonde hair, come treat them like, um, like a new friend and let them prove themselves. It says, your apprenticeship is over in the, in the work area. It says, do what you love and you'll never be disappointed. Star card says you have help when you ask for it. You are going to be making some choices about things. And I feel it's about money because I have the Ace of Pentacles here. The Two of Swords uh, reminds me that you can choose this way, you can choose that way. Either way is okay, but no choice. I'm too afraid means no change. So for changes in the... Um, financial area or money area or job, whatever brings you money, you're going to have to make a choice about. And just do it wisely. And if you're having difficulty, ask how it serves you. How does this serve me? That may help you uh, make your choice. There's things going on right now that are in the works for you in the money area. I'm not sure if that's work or investment or selling something, but it says your excuses are gone. Now what you asked for is right before you. It's going to bring you some changes. Step up and claim them. Let them be for you. Let them be yours. It says counsel may be needed. Now, counsel can be a lawyer, can be a therapist, but it also can be two friends talking. Just don't be talked into or out of something you really don't want to do. So um, with that said, trust your intuition. Trust your gut best you can. And it says um, there's going to be a lot of talk around some of you for things. And it's going to make you wonder, what the heck is going on? There'll be gaiety in the midst of change. And that's about making choices. So this month, use your wisdom, use your prayers, whatever helps you make choices. It says there is going to be gaiety in the midst of change. Things will go up and down, but you're going to be making choices. And I feel it's regarding money. That could be jobs, cash, investment, selling something, whatever it is. And, and try not to worry so much about the past. Focus on what's still here. And I have a feeling, Aquarius, this is going to be a pretty darn good month for you. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thank you so much for dropping in. I'm so happy to welcome in the new year with you, and I'll see you again next month.